Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Abby and today I kind of just want to do my makeup and talk about nothing in particular, which is kind of weird for me because I feel like whenever I watch like the talking part of my videos back, I look so awkward um, and uncomfortable and it's probably because I get like retroactive social anxiety because even if no one's here i know someone is going to eventually watch this but um i've done like most of my skincare the only thing i have to do is use this burt's bees dark spot corrector i kind of just randomly picked it up one day at kohl's was hoping it would help with my dark under eyes and if I kind of start looking past the camera, I have my viewfinder and a mirror right behind it, and that's why. And I feel like it's actually really been helping. I have really dark circles under my eyes. I think that they're just genetic and maybe iron deficiency related, but it's been looking better. I've been spending a ridiculous amount of money at Sephora and just on makeup in general. And I have discovered that I really like Charlotte Tilbury products, which is horrible for my bank account. Like wh literally anything that you can get from that brand is like $25, like for one, for like one thing. I've genuinely spent, I think three or $400 at Sephora over the past couple months. And also, <laughs> I'm filming this on um, an iPhone 15. I just got a new phone and then I'm going to LA next month. So I just bought a plane ticket and then I paid for an Airbnb for when I'm in LA next month. So I've been spending a lot of money in general and I need to stop because I'm quitting my second job. Next week is gonna be my last week. I'm so ready. Nothing against the job or the people that work there, but it's just a lot to, you know, work full-time and go to school like more than full-time i guess uh this is something that i picked up at my last trip to sephora it's the hollywood flawless filter concealer from charlotte tilbury i went during the sephora sale last weekend and i was like oh there's a sale i can just can buy whatever spent 128 dollars this is nice. Um, I kind of just, I picked this up at the section where they have a bunch of mini versions of things right before the checkout. Did not try to shade match whatsoever. And I feel like this matches my skin really well. It's kind of not very full coverage, but maybe it's buildable. I think that I like it, but I'm going to let some of it just like sit under my eye and like get tacky and hopefully that'll make it stay and like be a little bit more full coverage. While that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm gonna be using these um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk little mini liner and lipstick combo and if you're hearing something in the background i'm doing laundry so just bear with me i don't know like how far in you're supposed to go with lip liner so i'm kind of just doing whatever back to our conversation though another thing that's really been on my mind lately i can barely talk while i do this at the same time is that I just got signed. If you didn't know, I've been with my mother agent for like a year and a half-ish and I am now signed to a full service agency in Chicago. So that's exciting. Sorry, I had to finish doing the lip liner in silence. I just can't talk at the same time. Again, I got signed in Chicago, really excited about it. Um, I mean, everyone likes to share their wins, but it's been 
such a long, hard road um, with me and Hannah getting me signed. And she's great, she's amazing. Um, but you know, I got a lot of rejections before I finally got signed in Chicago. I, I think that she started by trying to get me signed in the foreign market, like places in Asia. And I'm generalizing because there are just so many markets within Asia, like Hong Kong, um, Taiwan, but I don't know where in Taiwan, um, South Korea, and there are some places in Japan and China that are hot spots for modeling. And then also some South American agencies. Lots of rejections. One of the agencies, I believe in Taiwan, it was really liked me but I just didn't have like a big enough book for them or enough experience, I guess, which is fine. Maybe we'll revisit that. Next summer, I want to ask Hannah about trying to get me signed again somewhere else, like somewhere abroad maybe to go on stay. And what would be ideal for me is if I got signed in like Mexico or just another Central or South American country because if you don't know, my minor at school is actually in Spanish. And I would like to think I speak Spanish decently, but it scares me, so I don't really do it with native speakers. But I think that that would be, it'd be like study abroad, but I'm getting paid to model, which is just the best of both worlds. Um, I think I'm gonna go on a trip to Mexico or Spain when I graduate regardless. So that'll be exciting, probably with my mom. She's been doing like, not Duolingo, but I think Babbel or one of those other language service apps to try and learn some Spanish. And she's being really consistent, so we'll see. But going back again, well, let me not do the blush first. Let me set this concealer before I forget about it. I wonder what time it is because I'm getting ready for my piano lesson and I probably have less than 30 minutes if I had to guess. I can't look at my phone because I'm using it to film and I'm using my laptop as a viewfinder so I'm just just gonna wing it. I'm usually late to those anyway. I'm sorry to my piano instructor. But again, signed in Chicago, excited to see where we go with that. Scared of the Chicago winter. Um, I just bought like a like a a true winter coat from DNKY. They had a huge sale going on. It was like 60% off their winter wear. I think the original price was like $350 and I got it for 130 after taxes so always getting a bargain i feel like i had a lot of imposter syndrome going on before i got signed because you know i'm like i'm not a real model unless i'm a signed model with like a full service agency not just a mother agent and now that i'm signed i'm like i'm not a real model until i get my first job or something else like that. And I really have to just remind myself that I have achieved everything that I hoped for at this time last year. You know, I don't wanna get stuck in this habit of just looking forward into what I want next and not appreciating where I am now. As corny as that sounds, just gotta wait for things to happen. I'm putting the work in just gotta wait. Side note, this mascara is what made me want to look into the other Charlotte Tilbury products because it keeps my lashes up all day, like forever. I have long eyelashes, but I really struggle with finding a mascara that like keeps them lifted over the course of the day because they just straighten out so easily don't want to hold a curl just like my hair 
but look at that. I just went over the footage because my phone stopped recording and thankfully it got everything that I thought was recording, but I just saw myself in 4K and that is scary. I did not like that. I um, usually use front camera to record everything because I can't see if I'm in frame. Then I found out you can use a MacBook as a viewfinder. And that's great for getting like better quality videos. But I hate seeing myself mirrored and in so much higher quality. It's kind of ironic for a model to say, I guess. I'm gonna finish my eyelashes off camera because I'm kind of struggling, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. These are the eyelashes. Um, I usually like to go over them with like a clean eyelash brush from like a mascara that I'm done with, but I can't find it. So I guess this is fine. Next, we're going in with some Milani blush. And I was watching this TikTok and this girl said that you're supposed to measure like the end of your eye down to like the side of your nostril and where those lines meet is where you put um, the blush and then you just blend upwards like that probably better than that but you know the general concept and I get it it like matches up with the bottom of my cheekbone and then you know goes up the line of the bone I don't know if I put on blush or if I put blush on and then blend until it's gone but what else did I want to talk about? I don't know. The reason I'm going to LA is because it's like cheaper for me to buy a flight and then go somewhere where I know people to shoot than it is for me to do like a like a model portfolio test and like pay a photographer, especially in this area. Arkansas is not it's not like a hub for modeling. There are still good photographers here, but if I were to do a paid test with one of the people that lives around here, like the one that I would want to do, it would be $500 for like the smallest package that she offers. And honestly, it's, I think I'm spending like 600 between the flight and the Airbnb to go to LA. And I can set up like six shoots, maybe eight or nine total looks. And that's a lot better. It's a lot more pictures, a lot more looks for basically the same amount of money. Which is why I travel so often, honestly. And I would have gone to Chicago or even New York again and done that. But I'm kind of nervous about if it's going to snow around that time. And I don't like being in the cold, so... LA seemed like the best bet. I really did not enjoy my trip to LA last May. So this is the city's second chance. <laughs> I feel like I didn't say a whole lot, but I kind of just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I'm genuinely the happiest that I've ever been. I feel like everything is going so great and I just needed people to know that. I don't know. That's all for the get ready with me. I guess I'll show you my outfit. Hopefully my clothes are dry enough to wear because I have to go in like 10 minutes. Okay, super quick fit check. Well, you can see the whole outfit. Um, this corduroy jacket is Ralph Lauren thrifted. So is the slip, well it's not Ralph Lauren, but it's thrifted vintage tags, I believe. This is from Coba, New York, but it's also thrifted from a flea market. The mesh top is Windsor. Um, don't know where the socks are from. And then the little loafers are Michael Kors, but I also thrifted those. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you for watching. I am running late for my piano lesson now, so I have to go, but until the next video, bye.